My name is Professor Rebecca Fitzgerald and I'm a group leader at the MRC Cancer Unit at University of Cambridge and an honorary consultant in gastroenterology. And I'm particularly interested in cancer of the esophagus, which is a disease which has become much more common in the last 30 years. So the main problem with this disease is late diagnosis. Patients just don't go and see their GP until they've really got troublesome symptoms. And unfortunately, a lot of patients are incurable at presentation. So the overall survival rate for this disease is about 13% at five years. So really abysmally awful. So in an ideal world, what we need is a very simple, inexpensive, relatively non-invasive test that GPs could do without having to refer to hospital for endoscopy to find these at-risk patients. And that's what we've been thinking about in our research. So the cytosponge sponge is a very simple device, cell collection device. It's a capsule about the size of a multivitamin pill attached to a string and the patient can swallow the, the capsule just as you'd swallow any pill and it'll travel slowly down the esophagus and into the top of the stomach. Then you just wait three or four minutes and the capsule will dissolve and as it dissolves the tightly compressed sponge within the capsule will pop open. So then after five minutes has passed to be sure that, that sponge is opened up, a nurse just simply pulls the sponge out of the esophagus and as it moves along the passage of the esophagus, it will collect cells on this sort of honeycomb lattice and you end up with about half a million cells to analyse in the laboratory. My name is Dr Richard Davis. I'm a partner at Cornford House Surgery in Cambridge and also an Associate Dean at the Clinical School. As a GP, when you're faced with a patient who uh, has symptoms of gastroesophageal reflux disease, there's always the question, does this patient need referral on to secondary care? Do they need an endoscopy? Um, and that's always a difficult decision to make because endoscopies are unpleasant and expensive. But with the cytosponge, sponge, suddenly there, there's a, a, an investigation which is very simple, potentially very cheap uh, and, and very safe and allows us as GPs to, to investigate patients much more simply but equally, if we do detect that patients have got Barrett's esophagus, we can then monitor them much more simply. Instead of having to have regular endoscopies up at the hospital, there's no reason why they shouldn't have regular cytosponge investigation here in primary care. And that's really a game changer in terms of, of managing patients with uh, pre-malignant conditions of the esophagus. So I think we're very excited because we've developed a test that we think works. Um, the molecular side of it, it's very sensitive and specific. Patients are willing to swallow this device, they find it more acceptable than endoscopy. And we've licensed it to a company called Covidian who can make a commercial test. So far over 2,000 patients have swallowed this device, there are still more trials we need to do to really prove its efficacy and prove to GPs that this is something that they should be taking up. And there's more work we want to do about the molecular assays to make them even more sensitive and, and to automate them. I think what's really been unique about Cambridge is that it's not just a laboratory and a hospital, it's a whole network of cancer scientists, clinicians, public health doctors, um, primary care, economics, engineering, that have all been relevant for our particular um, approach. And also our ability to take the concept into clinical trials in a dedicated clinical investigation unit which um, I helped set up the research endoscopy facility for example because trying to do these sorts of studies in a very busy NHS endoscopy unit just wouldn't be possible. So I think it's that coming together of people with um, a kind of common vision and purpose to make a difference in cancer medicine but all with different perspectives and something to bring that's uh, really made the difference. The cytosponge clearly is potentially a revolutionary investigation and could make a huge difference in terms of, uh, of investigating patients with potential malignancy or pre-malignant conditions in the esophagus. And because of that, because we can do that more simply, because we can do it cheaply, because we can monitor patients potentially much more easily, there's, it's likely to save lives ultimately uh, and prevent advanced malignancy of the esophagus. And that can only be a good thing. Thank you.